G'day guys, welcome back to Wombat Gaming. Today I'm going to be showing you a new planet that has some resources that are going to be pretty handy in regards to things like uh, weapon mods and well, but pretty much basically anything actually. So these items are going to be things like silver, iron, lead, they're the more common ones. Uh, there are some other ones like uh, chlorine and some ones that I can't even pronounce. I'm going to pop them up on the screen now so you can see all eight. I managed to find a spot on the planet with all eight on it. I must give credit to somebody on Reddit that pointed this out though. And I thank you to that person who pointed out this planet has a spot with all these eight. So look, with this particular planet as a settlement and the other planet that I've done a video on, you're pretty much covering most of the resources that you would want in this game. There are obviously a few missing and we can find them later. But to get eight resources in one location is pretty amazing. So obviously things like the water and the chlorine are the probably things that are going to be on this planet everywhere. But the other six items, I think, are usually pretty hard to find in one spot. I'm going to show you where they are. We'll attempt to give you the best instructions that I can. And uh, we'll head there now. So this is the solar system the system i should say that you want to head to that is uh zeta and i'm not going to pronounce that last name but we have to head to this particular planet here and again it is zeta I'm not going to pronounce the last name one and uh, that way i don't mess up the interpretation of what it's how it's said but we want to head to this planet here and when we scan it uh, we're going to see on this side there is this civilian outpost so this is probably the, the easiest way to find this one you want to zoom into this area here and you want to look in this area here what we're looking for here is an area that has frozen dunes and swamp now normally you'd get three bios together there is a bit of savanna in here i found that if i could just line up the frozen dunes and the swamp by clicking back and forth a bit so we go there and we go over a little bit more so we want swamp and frozen dunes we're going there we go so there's frozen dunes yes yeah, swamp we'll just make sure all right once we've got the frozen dunes selected that's the side that you want to land on it makes it a lot easier to find trust me I'm going to show you um, some key things that you can look for to find this. There is a little bit of running involved in this. I couldn't actually get any closer. I tried so many times to get closer to the spot. But I found this was probably the closest that I could get. Just in here where it says frozen dunes. Play around with this spot. So you're wanting frozen dunes and then swamp. Just like that. So all right, so we're going to land on this frozen dunes and I'm going to show you where we can go. Okay, I will point out that this is a very good screen to say that you are in the right spot. You can see to the left a little bit over there. There's looks like there's some trees on top of a little hill. This is the landing spot that you want to land on. There are no other spots that I've gotten closer to. If you do get closer, that's great. But this is the spot that you want to land on. So if you don't see that, make sure that you're using your save from the planet that you landed on. Always just delete the ones above it, but then come back to your original save, so, scan the planet. So you don't have multiple landing spots. Oh my night? God, I cannot handle the NPCs in this particular me. game. They I talk too much. Real. All right, sorry, I had to uh, skip all that uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, the NPCs just do not shut up on ships. Um, anyway, back to the, <laughs> the spot that we're looking for. All right, so this is the spot that you're looking for. So when we exit the ship, of course, you're going to have a save. So just remember that. This will be an auto save. Okay, guys, once you've exited the ship, one thing I would suggest in order to find this location really easy, that you try and sleep through until you get a nice, clear morning or a daytime so you can actually find this location. There's nothing worse than having to run through this and try and find this location in the rain or fog or pitch black. So I'm going to show you a couple of key points that you're going to look for. Like I said, when we landed, we were looking for that area over there. And that's what we saw when we were up in the cockpit. And now when we get out, we're going to be looking for this tower and this biodome difference here. So we've got the ice on one side and we've got the dry on the other. I think it's either swamp or savannah. I haven't worked that out yet. But essentially you want to head this way. Now this is going to be quite a run. 
so this is going to take a few minutes of continuously boring running i do apologize but i could not get any closer to this location to show you guys where it was so if you want to skip through a little bit you can but if you want to know exactly where this is just follow my footsteps i guess you could say the atmosphere here unfortunately isn't the best either for running We're heading down to this area here where you can see the mountains meet this uh, kind of open area. Through these wind turbines. Now there are a couple of landmarks that you're going to be looking for. This is the kind of area that we're heading for over here. As you can see, it is quite a run. Now some key landmarks from here are going to be those large crystal formations and these mountains over here to the left. So we're wanting to pass those. So as you can see it is quite a run. Now guys this took me ages to find this location and I've run this location a number of times to try and help you guys out. So. If you are looking for these resources and you think this is going to be of some help to you at the end, please don't forget to hit that like button uh, and consider subscribing. Uh, also, place any comments if you think I could have done something better or you you know have any thoughts or you just want to say anything at all, say hello. Please whack them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm enjoying making the Starfield videos. This is a bit of a part-time gig for me. I work full-time. Just love enjoying playing this game and recording and trying to find these cool places. All right, we're heading to that mountain ahead. Once we pass that mountain, we're kind of getting close to our location. All right, we're getting there. So. Essentially, we're looking for those crystals again. We can just see them in the distance over there. All right, we're getting close now. We're just passing this mountain or hill. And we have our crystals over there. Now the outpost beacon is going to kind of cross over between these two biodomes. But it is going to be placed in this part of the biodome. We seem to get more of the res resources this way. Gonna open up the scanner now and just have a look around. As you can see, we have six, not a problem. I think we're a little bit further. I think we are, just to give you an idea of where we are, it's starting to get a bit foggy now, but there's that mountain over there. And we're kind of heading into this area here. And you will see, we can't see those crystals anymore, but they are in that distance over there. And we have these kind of large ice formations, I guess you could say. And we should be getting close. So you're starting to get these large rocks here. Okay, we have seven. Pretty close, I think.
Which it might be a little bit further. I know we'll be placing it into this area down in here more so. So I think it might be a little bit further up. All right, we're up to seven. So close. All right, here we go. We have eight. All right, so we have eight guys. We have this little, like, little tiny little hill here. Uh, there's not really much else to go by. Not really sure what else I can show you. As I said, there's in the distance over there those large crystal formations, and over this way there is that we passed that hill, which now is covered in like a mist or fog. We have jungle behind us, but we're wanting to place it down into this area here. So you can see actually in the scanner one of the iron formations and we have yeah, a couple of others around us so let's place it down in here now the sweet spot is going to be obviously between all eight now you might have to move the beacon around a little bit to get this right but you're going to want to play around with it until i lost the spot a little bit now There's our hill, here it is. All right, I completely lost where we were. All right, here we go. All right, we got our eight back there is a couple of spots around here that have eight i found this is the best one uh if this is similar to yours there's this like rock formation here it's i think off to the left here is the best spot so if we go over here yep about here so we'll drop it down and this is the best way to check whether you're in the right spot or not is just to scroll through all your extractors now the top four you can place anywhere uh, they don't need to be placed in a certain area obviously they are um, atmosphere and water and things like that so the iron is the first one we're going to be looking for we're looking for an iron patch and we want to try and get at least three extractors in so I just there we go easily going to get three to four extractors in that area I'm missing some iron at the moment actually so in order to build these I needed to bring resources with me so make sure you do that make sure you bring enough uh, resources like iron tungsten aluminium and nickel uh, they're the things the main ingredients and then if you do want to do the water and chlorine uh, you need to do the other ones that are listed there all right you need a membrane and you need the benzene but let's have a look we did iron let's have a look for our lead now let's go around the outside so we spot our lead i think lead is up the top here okay yep so we got lead bit of a we got probably one two three you probably get three in there if you wanted to i oh, know there's a bit more here so plenty of lead not an issue with lead and then silver here's our silver so i'm going to do that view again i hate how that disappears as you go up a mountain so we're up here somewhere here we go all right so we have that you can faintly see the outside ring there we're going to get at least three four easy for the silver and this particular resource is down here i believe let's have a look yes there it is we're going to get three or four there and then this particular resource which i have no idea how to pronounce as well is going to be somewhere around somewhere here there we go all right so we're going to get probably maybe two possibly three in there so you might if you wanted to you could move the extractor down but that uh i should say the beacon down but then you'd be risking so lead's actually not too bad so you could actually move the beacon down a little bit to that kind of area if you wanted to obviously you can't do it this way 
that's just moving the beacon. You'd need to delete it and reposition it. So I'll show you how to do that. You just would come down here and and just delete, permanently delete it, and then we would want to probably just place it a little bit further down the hill. There, and then obviously just go back through and check you know, your extractors. We'll just check that one first. That was the one we were having trouble with. So, well, then, see, just by moving it a couple of meters, easy three. And I think the one on the hill here was our, this is the one, we, yeah, we might have, oh no, we still got plenty of room here for the lead. It's not an issue there. All right, so there you go, guys. That's how we found all eight on this particular planet. Okay, guys, yeah, once again, if you did find this of any help, please hit that like button and consider subscribing, and we will see you on the next video.